This is example five in the differentiation topic. We're working on the product rule. So we can look now to be able to differentiate uh, a function which is a product of two terms in x where they're both multiplying each other. So in this example here, it says find f prime x given f of x equals 1 over root x, that's term 1, and sine 3x minus 1. That's the other multiplying together, so it's a good candidate for the product rule. The product rule itself states that for the derivative of a function f of x, we can consider, as long as we know our two uh, terms u and v, we can say that it's u dash v plus u v dash or prime. So we have to define what u is and what v is. But in this case here, u, the first term is 1 over root x. And the second term, sine 3x minus 1. And we can think about then the derivative of each of those. Uh, before we do that for the u term, we'll get it into a, a form that's able to be differentiated. That third there on the bottom is x to the power a half. And therefore, if we write it with the fraction removed, we can say that it's x to the power negative a half, which means that u dash or u prime will be negative a half x. And if we take one away from the power negative a half, negative a half, take away another one is negative one and a half or negative three over two. The second term v is sine three x minus one. The, we can go straight to differentiating that. It's a chain rule. Again, it's a function three x minus one, which then has a sine function applied to it. So it's a function within a function. So the rule is deal with the outside term first of all. So sine 3x minus 1 goes to cos 3x minus 1. But we have to multiply by the derivative of the term inside the bracket, which is 3. So we can say that v dash or v prime is 3 cos 3x minus 1. The main mistake that gets made in this is that the 3 gets omitted and we forget to actually um, do the different the derivative of the inside function we've now got our two terms u dash and v dash so we can go back into using our product rule so we're, we know that we're looking for u dash v plus u v dash so the derivative of the function f of x is calculated by taking u dash or u prime which is negative a half x to the power negative 3 over 2 Move it down a bit. multiplied by v which is the sine of 3x minus 1 plus then we've got u and v prime u is uh, we can keep it in index form I think u the negative a half multiplied by v dash or v prime, which is 3 cos 3x minus 1. So as we did uh, in the previous example, we can usually look to simplify this. We've got terms that are kind of similar, uh, but then again, maybe not, because sine has turned into cos, and so we can't take a common factor of that. The best chance we have is to take a common factor of our two polynomial terms here. And it's a wee bit tricky because they're both negative fraction indices. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. The rule is always, if you have powers of x, you can take a common factor as long as you take the lower of the two common factors. And the smaller of the two numbers there, we've got negative 3 over 2, and we've got negative a half. The smaller number is negative 3 over 2.
that's negative one and a half, which is smaller than negative a half. So in actual fact, the uh, the common factor would be x to the power negative three over two. I'm not going to worry about the um, what we've got. We've got a negative a half there. So what we'll do is I think I'll take a half out as a common factor just to tidy things up a little bit uh, which means that inside here I've got negative sine 3x minus 1 and on the other one because I've taken a common factor of a half I'm actually going to introduce a 2 and that means when you multiply a half in to the 2 they cancel out and uh, we make a oh, except that there's a 3 there I have missed right so if there's a 3 there we need to make it 6 because a half times 6 will give us a 3 um, because I've got an x to the power negative a half here that's a, a whole one uh, unit higher than the previous one so I've actually got x to the power 1 in that bracket there because I've taken out a common factor of x to the power negative 3 over 2 and x to the power negative a half is one unit in its index higher than that and I've still got cos 3x minus 1 it's not again the, the clearest of simplification but We can change them around probably and do 6 cos 3x minus 1 minus sine 3x minus 1. And I guess that's probably about as good as I can do it. Don't worry too much about the simplifying process. Um, if you can get it to the, first of all, uh, just use the basic rule in order to get that uh, addition of terms have a look and see if you can find a common factor but as I said before uh, you might try and do a lot of work in order to just rearrange things and it still looks a bit of a muddle so don't worry too much about uh, having to feel as though there's a, a common factor that it may not be too evident okay just keep practicing these